Hello, everyone. Hi, welcome, everybody. Welcome back to Adobe Live for day three of time with our wonderful guest, Kevin Lee. Yeah, thank you. My name is Jessica Moon. I am a UX lead at ServiceNow. And Kevin Lee, you are an amazing UX UI designer, amazing social influencer, and Thank you for those of you who uh, are tuning in on day three as well. We love you guys too. Um, Laura, welcome back. Val, we love Val. Um, Val. Kevin, Adobe is love, agreed. Yeah, it's 1 p.m. here in yeah. San Francisco. Um, what time is it where you're at? Where are you guys located? Give yeah, a shout everyone? out real quick. Last day, I know, I'm sad too. Sad. Uh, Mark, welcome back, Mark. Yes, our winner from our first day oh chat. Oh my gosh, morning. hey Mark. Hi, B. <gasps> All right, yeah. Hello from New York with Aaron and Sacramento. Ooh. We've got Ruben from Mexico. And Florida. oh, Egypt, 10 p.m. Rodney. Thank you, Ma. Egypt? <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. awesome. All over here. Benjamin's from <gasps> Germany. Hey, Ma, India. Welcome back, wow. Ma. Thank you guys for tuning in. So, wow, guys, awesome. Yeah, so if you haven't been with us for um, the past two days, um, we are kicking off and wrapping up our third day where uh, Kevin has been making an app that is called Fluencia. Thank yes. you to, I think it was Raquel who actually or, gave us the name. Yeah. And, and then Anel was the one with the logo. And Anel made the logo. So thank you guys for your help on that app. Yes. Um, Kevin's going to talk a little bit about what the app looks like so far, what we've done. And today we're going to see a bit of styling and prototyping, right? Yep. This is the fun part, you guys. <laughs> this is where Stay the magic tuned. happens. Everything's going to look so pretty. Mary and from British Columbia. Wow. Cameroon. Everywhere. Bill. Turkey, Omer, how nice to see you, Snell, New York. All right, cool. Jeez, that's awesome. Oh, my so, gosh. All right, so just kind of a recap of what's going on. Um, we'll cover what we're doing with Kevin. We are the last segment of the week, but please um, feel free later to go on to Behance and see the replays of the amazing hosts and the guests that have been on for Adobe Live this week. Um, we had from morning segment at 9 to 11, Paul and Alex. Um, I'm sorry, Paul and James, who made an amazing succulent-centric app. Loved um, it. We had at 11 to 1, just right now, if you were with us, Alex and Sarah, who made an amazing website landing page. And yes. then, of course, now we've got Kevin and myself, who will be doing some cool stuff around social influencers and mobile. Yeah. So. Just ready for this? Yeah. And then, um, you know, stay tuned. Um, in about 30 minutes, we'll do our chat and win. Uh, today's quick prize, I'll just give a sneak peek. Looks like this. I won't talk about it just yet. Something fell out of it. Woo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, give you a little bit more detail about what we're going to give away in less than 30 minutes. So all you need to do is log into Behance and say something in chat, and you'll be uh, eligible to get this wonderful mystery prize that I'll talk about later. I'm sure. And uh, at the end, <laughs> at the end of the segment, we'll also do portfolio reviews today. So if you have a portfolio you'd like us to review, go ahead and click on the portfolio review tab in the chat on the side. And all you need to do is submit your portfolio to that link, and we will take a look at two of them, I believe, and give some critiques. So yeah. And yes, Alejandra, that word again. Shook. <laughs> Shook. I learned a new word Shook this it. week. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. Okay. Let's let's see Dr. Frankenstein as Adriano talks about you as. Oh my god, <laughs> Adriano. Yeah. And see you stitch this thing to life. Yes. I can't wait, you guys. Okay. So, um, if you haven't been tuning in for the past two days, my name's Kevin Lee, and I'm a UX UI designer and graphic designer based in San Diego. Um, on the free time, I like to do photography, specifically film photography. And over the um, realm of years, like I developed a following on social media, which inspired the project that I am designing. And the project is social networking tools for brands and influencers called Flu Fluencia. Fluencia. Is that, should I be the one to just say that every we time? We should like uh, save that audio clip like, Every time Fluencia, Fluencia. <laughs> and like text like on the screen, Fluencia. Um, yes, so I think it was Raquel who uh, gave us our uh, name. company name yep. and then Anel gave us the logo. So what did we do? So first day we did the research phase, which is user interviews, competitive analysis about the apps, other apps, 
uh, research conclusion. So have everything in one page and started the lo-fi uh, wireframes to get the structure of, you know, what we're trying to solve here. Uh, day two yesterday, we continued the lo-fi wireframes and kind of added like different specks of color. So we're kind of like teasing it at you. And finally, day three, we're, we're gonna three. do, yes, we're gonna do the hi-fi wireframes. Mm -hmm. um, so considering design assets like color, images, um, we're gonna go into Adobe Stock and we're also going to prototype with the iPhone X. And looks like Eric's giving you your hair some love, Kevin. Oh, um, thanks, Eric. And, uh, and others, remember our AKA uh, hashtag Ruthless Kevin. Ruthless uh, Kevin. Nickname. So you'll Alejandra. see Ruthless Kevin come out a little bit at the portfolio review, I think. Oh, gosh. Um, for those of you who don't know, Kevin is notoriously now known um, for being ruthless about his critiques and just slashing, slashing the ones that don't make the cut. <laughs> So, yep. all right, yeah, it'll be awesome to see some finished comps. Oh my God, and Maul said, remember the ending yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> We're getting shame from that, <laughs> oh my God. Hopefully, One like- One of my lesser moments. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you. That's Thank you for yeah. bringing that terrible memory up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so why don't we okay. get started, Kevin? Yeah, so um, kind of recapping like what the problem is. So the brands basically are trying to like struggling with like, how are we finding these influencers? They're so hard, like these manual labor, like trying to find, like search these influencers. And same goes with the influencers with the brands. They're trying to find brands. No one's really reaching out to them. So the solutions, we developed wireframes for them and made like a filtering system. And that's how we have Fluencia. Yep, Fluencia. And Kevin, you know, just real quick for those who haven't watched the first two days, um, there's a lot of empathy coming from you on this, right? Yes. In terms of being a social influencer yourself? Yeah. Yes. So, like I said, I do film photography on the side, and I am fortunate enough to, you know, grow following from it and a community. Mm -hmm. And um, that's how I can, like, empathize with, like, influencers because I guess you can consider me as an influencer. Um, I tried to work with brands when I first started, so that's how I kind of empathize. Uh, empathize with the user. Yeah, so you know, if you're curious about what kind of creative work Kevin's done, I highly recommend you check out his Instagram. It has some beautiful photography. Thank um, you. Very, very lovely stuff. I was just gazing at it the other day because it's so lovely. I was looking so. at yours and I'm like, <laughs> no, she has some good stuff, you guys. Uh, you should plug yours in too. I she, like food. Yeah, she loves <laughs> you food. Like, if you like food in the world, um, you can follow mine. Yeah, no, for sure. All right, cool. Yeah. So here's the wireframes, right? Yeah, so these are all the completed low fidelity wireframes with like pops of color maybe. Um, so instead of going straight into, you know, the color and photos yet, I kind of want to like show you guys what I've been working on on the side with like the overlay, new overlays feature. So basically, if you want to prototype or add an overlay, um, this is what was before the feature. So let's say, we're on the discover feature and they're kind of like confused like what all these little like icons are. Let's say it's someone who never used, you know, a phone before. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, who? Yeah, who? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's say we're on this page and they are confused. So they click this question mark on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So when they click it, it shows them Ooh, like what each icon is. Very nice onboarding experience. Yeah. yeah. So that's, um, I mean, this was always there, like this, like dissolve feature. Yeah. But what's new is you can add like these transitions. Um, so, for example, this one. Wait, let me see. So, the search feature when you're when a brand's looking for an influencer, uh, they want to message like someone super quick because they're mm -hmm. like, oh my god, I love them already. Mm -hmm. um, then they would click this. And then a quick chat would appear. Very cool. So the difference is like instead of like a dissolve feature where it just like slowly comes up, oops, like that, mm -hmm. they can like add a transition where it just like pops down with like you can yep. still see the background of it. No, I love it. That's it's so uh, cool. I think one of the cool things about the overlay feature that's just come out recently is the fact that you no longer have to do the weird like artboard to artboard transition where you have repeated elements on one artboard and then you kind of show that, you know, slide down, push down, and then you kind of actually see the artboards going 
it doesn't feel real, right? But yeah. but I love the way you did it with this search where you're able to kind of show that drop down and um, which you would really see in real life and it just pops back up, which is really neat. Yeah, and I'm like, it doesn't, because I think on the updates page, she um, did like a menu that mm -hmm. came down yep. or like a keyboard that pops up, mm -hmm. but like it can be more than that too, Yeah, yep. which is awesome. Yep, for sure. And uh, I think that there's a little bit of Shay trying to bring some drop shadow throw down Shay. back in. I see a little bit of drop shadows in his layout, you know. They're gonna stay. Kevin's in the I love drop I shadows love camp. Um, but yeah, beautiful overlay features. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so let's get to the fun stuff. Like the color and the logo. Um, so shout out to Anel for this amazing Fluencia, Fluencia. logo. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna literally just pop it up here. And so that was a SVG, right? Yeah, it's a S yeah. E G file. So you can port a lot of things into XD nowadays, SVGs. You can port um, files over from Photoshop and Illustrator, um, Sketch yeah. even, and you can go ahead and take SVGs, and that's entirely editable, guys. You can go in and you can click on any of those elements there, change the colors, change anything you want, um, the sizing, and fully, fully editable. Yeah, you can re-export that guy out wherever you want to, um, so it's pretty neat. Yeah. Um, and I actually like the color palette she used on the F, mm -hmm. so I saved it right here. Oh. And as you can see, these types of shades, I don't know if it's shades of red or like, mm -hmm. what is that, like red or like salmon? red slash like fuchsia, magenta, I don't know, what, what would you call that? I, maybe like, I, I don't know, like, I think a salmon, a dark salmon, a rose, a rose color. Yeah, like a dark or light salmon. Mm -hmm. So the Dark salmon, I used, um, if you guys remember from yesterday, like for these like red little buttons. Okay, yep. And then um, the colors are kind of similar. So what's cool about this new update is that you can rename it. Mm -hmm. So I can say like, oh, this is the Fluencia salmon. Oh, okay, cool. And then this is like, what is it? What did I put? Like stop or X or the no color salmon. And uh, Kevin is a very organized designer. He <laughs> names all of his artboards and all of his files. And we, wa we all want to grow up to be like Kevin someday Thanks. where we can name all of our files properly. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Yes. Um, yes, Alejandra, renaming is very useful. Yeah. So I guess one another thing that I did was I, you know, the B2I, I2B that we did, like the abbreviations. Yeah, when, you, when you say B2I, I2B, I feel like we're going to go to a concert. Oh my God, can we go? <laughs> like, that's so cool. Um, so B2I is like brand to influencer and then influencer to brand, like their user journey. And I had all of them together in the same uh, like file. Mm -hmm. But then what I did was I separated it and I just put in parentheses B2I and I2B to like keep it more easier to prototype and connect everything. Okay, enough of me talking. Let's make everything uh, pretty. So what I basically do is I want to keep the low fidelity of uh, files. So well, I named this high fidelity, but what you can do is literally just copy and paste it. And then you would title it high fidelity, high fidelity. Mm -hmm. And then it's the same thing. So it's easier to like add photos or um, change the color. So for the background, I like to go in order and have this pop up so I can see it real time. And what I would usually do is, let's make this color, that salmon. Okay. So the background of the login page. Ooh. And let's get rid of this and this. Like we love the new- The placeholders of the, yep, yep. of the wireframes. Um, and let's copy this F, because I really like that F. Okay. And then paste it here and then make this white. All right, oh. That is beautiful. Look at that F. It has such a nice, like, yeah. minimalistic but elegant feel. And now that's so good with that. Ruthless Kevin is so good at this. You know what's funny oh. is that everyone's just calling you Ruthless Kevin because on day one you were just, you're like, I can't, I, have, yeah. I can't decide. <laughs> I had no chill and I felt so bad. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I don't know if, like, <laughs> yeah. I it was, yeah. <laughs> um, but. I like that F, but I might want to like even rename it, like okay. Fluencia, and then make this smaller. Okay. It's Cause like, they'll be like, okay, is it just F? Like, what is this? Um, so we'll change the size of this. Okay. And one tip you guys is you don't have to follow the lo-fi like down, like to the grit. Like you right. can 
change it up while you're designing mm -hmm. it and adding color. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe I'll make this 20 and then center this. So you can see and then maybe All right. increase this a little bit. Nice rich color. I love the contrast. Yeah. Very beautiful. Thank you. Maybe it's too heavy on top. Maybe we'll just change this up. Okay, so we have this. Um, I'll just leave that. It might be too light on the top, but whatever. Okay. <laughs> um, so the login and sign up, I'm going to change that to the same color as the background. All right. Nice kind of minimalistic simplicity. Yeah. I love it. Love it. So let's see. And actually, Kevin, you're doing something very interesting. Can I just pause you for a second and just kind of be an, a little nerd about this? Please. Um, so, you know, we're all used to making these colors, and so they're obviously in the asset panel. Yeah. But what Kevin just did right now was, um, if you just control, control Z just on one of those guys, yeah. you went and you eye dropped that color from mm -hmm. the right p uh, property inspector, and you just click somewhere on the palette, um, which was like your artboard, right? And yep. um, and then from there it changed that red. But guess what? If you were to go into your fluent, what is it called? Fluencia salmon. If you were to go into the assets panel and mm. then go and change that color um, to whatever you want, just temporarily. We'll do a little bit of disco. Like um, go mm. click, oh, click to, to that. Yep, right click and um, edit it to whatever you want. Even that eye drop that he did is getting affected. Um, and the reason why is just because of the fact that, you know, the asset color on the left is gonna pull any of those hexes on the left. And so you don't need to always pull that color from the colors panel. You don't have to click it. It will, the whole app will remember it. And so you can just eye drop anything you need to get that consistency you want. And you don't have like suddenly five aberrations of that salmon anymore because you're just, they're all connected. So. Super cool, and I think it's just great because you just were intuitively doing that. But um, but I love that feature. So yeah, and also like, could you imagine if the homepage was just like this, like or constant just loop? like constantly looping? That'd oh be beautiful. Gosh. It'd be very very. I got goosebumps. Very colorful. Okay, yeah. So that's an awesome feature. Let's change this back to that flu fluencia salmon. Mm -hmm. Um, and I kind of want to add like an image. So mm -hmm. I did some digging. Um, really quick. Maybe I'll add this like photo I found on Adobe Stock, and I'll show you how to do that later. Okay. Um, Beautiful. Actually, yeah. I didn't even put it in yet, so let's actually do that now. All right, and uh, and yes, I am being hypnotized as well, Shay. Um, in terms of that beautiful color that we just had there. Yeah. Um, you know, so Sunnels, or not Sunnels, sorry, uh, Digamber is asking, question for Kevin. Yes. Do you care about contrast for accessibility? Sorry, I was typing something. That's okay. <laughs> Can do you say that again? Do you care about contrast for accessibility? Yes. Yes. I feel like, you know, making something bold and unbold or mm -hmm. like a color, mm -hmm. um, it really makes everything balance on the mm -hmm. page. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think the same thing? I mean, yeah. And I think the contrast ratio you have for the salmon is really, really great. Um, you know, if that if you were to kind of grayscale that, you'll see a lot of that difference between that white and gray. And there are a lot of great tools out there, actually, where you can slap up a JPEG image and check for that accessibility. Um, since there are a lot of people in this world who are colorblind um, and have other kind of disabilities there. So yeah, yeah. it's very important. So I kind of want to choose this photo. What is that person doing? They're so why is that a selfie? Me? That's literally me. So I'm like, I'm going to use this one. You wear a cute hat and then you take, and I take selfies. selfies. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to do this one. But Kevin, you have nice hair. And that's what uh, I forgot who said that. Oh, but. that's my brand. I forgot. I need to do <laughs> <laughs> You're going to hide the hair with the hat. I know, but it's a cute hat. <laughs> thank um, you, Catherine. I think that Kevin's funny as well. Oh, thank you, Catherine. And I agree, Melinda. Learning XD is great. If you have any questions around what to do in XD or you want to see a feature, just let us know in chat, by the way. Yeah. And in 10 minutes, um, if you're still in the chat, you know, or you're just tuning in now, we'll be doing a chat and win giveaway. Ooh. Oh, look at that. It's a Ussie. <laughs> it's a what? It's a Ussie, right? Yeah. <laughs> are they doing an Ussie? Or no, are they just... Or no, they're, they're just snapping pictures they're of food. They're taking pictures of their that And that's me, me also. That's oh, that's you! Too. That's you! <laughs> Don't, don't. Oh my god, <laughs> our dinner, that was, yeah, on the first day, that's so funny. Yeah, I took a lot of pictures of food that day. <laughs> There's some great food in San Francisco. Oh, yes. Yep. Chat and um, win, David, in 10 minutes, all you need to do is yeah. log into Behance and just write something in chat, you know, talk about how much you love Kevin's hair or how he's ruthless or how beautiful his photos are on Instagram or anything. Because they're so sweet. Yes, Eric, we all do love his hair. Oh, Eric, you're awesome. Um, so I actually decided to choose this one. Uh, with the food 
And I have a question for you. Okay. Is, so I got the standard license. Do I just drag it? So you can just save it to your library and it'll actually in so my this library? Is magic. So yeah. go ahead and click on that. Yep. Okay. And it'll save. Um, it's saving. Save to your library. Now go ahead and go to XD. And oh. if it's hooked up properly, um, you can actually, so there's a couple ways to access. Actually, if you look up, let's do your help thing. Go ahead and type in um, library. Library. Let's see what comes up. Oops, go back. Uh, open CC library. Okay. Cool. So um, oh, in CC no library, um, if you guys are not familiar with this feature, so if you're a person who uses CC library a lot, um, you can actually access your online account. And if you save photos like Adobe stock photos, um, it will just automatically pull that photo up um, in your library. That's so cool. And this is, this is actually really cool, especially if you're working with a lot of designers where you're sharing one of those projects, right? So let's say you're making, maybe you're also um, on mall or you're maybe Raquel who made the Fluencia logo. You can actually, if we had all shared our file into a master Fluencia uh, project, now you know, you can upload your logos, someone else could upload the typography and mm. the colors and mm. the assets. And in CC library, you could just take that photo out and then put it in. Wow. And you could even do that with assets. So like photography is a really big deal, right? So someone may be going into Photoshop and they may want to tweak a little bit of the contrast. I mean, a lot of your photos are very edited and curated, right? Yeah. So if there's a beautiful editor on your team who wants to do something, they can actually oh. edit it in Photoshop real time, save the asset, and it'll update as Kevin has CC library open on his side. And he can just take that asset and it'll have those uh, changes sh saved. So what? It, it's pretty neat. Oh it's, my God. If you are collaborating, on like a really big team with a bunch of designers and everybody's doing everything at once. Yeah. It is very awesome. That's so cool. Yep, it is the Adobe ecosystem, as Sunil says. And yes, I, I love CC Library for that exact reason, Bill. Wow. Yep. See, I like even being in the show because like I'm learning so much <laughs> with you guys. You know what I mean? It's yep. amazing. Yeah. Um, okay, so we want to make this actually not a solid color. We want to put the photo behind it. Mm -hmm. Just to like give more personality mm -hmm. when they first oh, see the bad. login screen. Um, that is a cute cake. Oh wow. And <laughs> or that's an acai bowl. I think. Oh, is that an acai bowl? Oh, it's, it's very tiny. Cool. I can't see it too. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I have like my glasses on, but oh, I'm like, yeah. I can't see it. It's too tiny. Would you rather have yeah. a cake or an acai bowl? I'd rather have a cake. Oh yeah. I like those oh, yeah. fresh cream cakes. Totally. They're very delicious. Ooh, that is beautiful. Look at yeah. that. It's like, oh, oh we're not going to show you the whole picture. You yep. got to find that out for yourself. Mm -hmm. So. So what are you doing there? Are you adjusting the opacity? Okay, got it. The appearance of that? Yeah, but Lovely. also I should do this because we were talking about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, that's a different thing. Like a different look to it, right? Yeah, or so... Like going crazy? No, no, no. So um, in terms of opacity, right, it is going to a darker, and that's because of the fact that you probably have... What's a, what, how, How's that working on in the artboard? Let's take a look at it real quick. Oh, so, I think... It's the color that's fading away, like just yep. to no color. Mm -hmm. And then this is like the actual like solid thing mm -hmm. mixing with it. So the awesome. the one on the top, so the appearance in the PI is actually controlling the entire layer um, of the thing. So, but if you have the color specifically in the actual um, right there in the fill, it's just about how much fill there is. So yeah, that's like a whole nother look. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. So there I'm are a lot of ways to adjust the fidelity of the colors, even in fills versus layers. Wow. Very cool stuff. Oh my god. Again. Oh my gosh, shook. just with the photo alone and that level of color is beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. And that logo, Anel and Raquel. Ah, it's very beautiful. Um, thank you. And then for this one, we'll do the same salmon color. Mm -hmm. But then we'll fill this up, actually. And then add another photo. So let's say I am a brand. Alright. Um, we'll just put this. Okay. <laughs> Cool. And add this on top of it. Okay. So this will only pop up if they select it. All right. Uh, this color on top of the thing. And then for the ones that you don't select, so I'm an influencer. So this is the brand's perspective signing up. Okay. We're gonna actually put her here and then drag this down. Mm -hmm. And then, oops, bring this back. So. The one that's not selected will have like a toned down feel to it. Okay. Uh, Got it. There we go. 
And uh, some kind of quick notes in the chat. So yeah, color filtering is awesome. And yes. and yeah, I agree. And Mala, Creative Cloud Libraries is a great way of being able to work with teams. Now, it's something I noticed you're doing, Kevin, is that um, you are clicking on and utilizing that kind of right-click contextual menu. So when you right-click on any of the elements, you get a, a lot of options, which are really great. Um, bring forward, set back, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Did you know that a lot of those shortcuts are actually very native to the Creative App Suite? So if you're used to moving layers with shortcuts in Photoshop or Illustrator and you're using the Command-Shift brackets, yeah. you actually can do the same sort of, um, you, it's the same kind of mental model of being able to go um, back, sending layers forward, and all that stuff like that. So. Wow. When I started picking up this program, I just mm -hmm. did it by instinct because I used Illustrator and Photoshop so much. And then I was like, whoa, it's like doing the same thing. And wow. so it's really nice because you're going back and forth between these different apps. Wow. And um, and you're like, wait a second. It's not like a whole new journey. I already know how to use this tool. What the heck? Yeah. It's not like a whole new journey to do it. Yeah. That's yep. cool. And Bill, the July update did just come, um, and we yeah. can talk about it a little bit later. So just this week, we released a couple enhancements. You can actually catch them on the uh, What's New section of the Adobe website. And we have strokes. That's a really big one, being able to make dotted lines, dashed lines, everything in between, yeah. rounded end points, um, all Ooh. the corners. Um, you can rename your assets, which Kevin just showed off right now, which is really great because we all aspire to be Kevin and rename our <laughs> files when we grow up. Um, and then also you can comment on design specs, which is, especially if you're working yeah. with developers, huge for that kind of like real-time conversation and getting all of those details um, hashed out. Good way for communication, yeah. Yep. Um, and yeah, so we changed all this. Excuse me. And we will make this. Eric, if the shortcut side. for for rectangle was M instead of R, then it'd be called a mectangle. Is that so, a thing? Whooper thought. <laughs> I mean, so, <laughs> so a lot of the shortcuts in XD are actually um, the letters of whatever it is you're remembering. So if you okay. wanted to make a rectangle, um, because all squares are rectangles, you would hit R. Um, if you wanted to make an oval, you would hit O. Oh. And so a lot of those things, like the line tool is L, it's just whatever you kind of like as a human being growing up and thinking of words would think of, that is often the shortcut letter, so. But oh. if you want to go for rectangles, that works too. <laughs> I like that better. <laughs> it's just fun. What? The... Just how you said it. <laughs> I was just like, ooh. No, it's because you... But, you know... <laughs> I, I, it's a funny thing because it's actually where you think of a lot of designer tools and then they have very random letters for their shortcuts and you're like, what was that letter again? And it makes like <laughs> no sense to the word. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now we have our B2I intro sign up. Mm-hmm. So this is done for design assets. And then now when they log in, it's basically the same thing. Okay. We're just changing the salmon, the salmon, like the color for it. Um, and then changing these to salmon too. Lovely. So you have this nice primary fluencia color, if you will, that's kind of your accent and that brand sort of splash. Yeah. Okay, love it. From Annals, yeah. But let me see, do I want that black? Cause like too much salmon, you know what I mean? Yeah, yep. Good and maybe balance. if there's a triangle tool, Eric, there will be a T for triangle. Although I think T is <laughs> actually already used. All right, we got a couple more seconds and we're gonna be doing a chat and win. Yeah, so cool. three, two, one, zero. Boom. All right, so, you know, go ahead and log into Behance right now. If you're not already in chat, start chatting away. The Chat away. prize today is going to be this uh, pencil pouch right here. You guys, you're gonna love this. Beautiful, this pencil pouch. So pencil. go ahead and chat away right now. All right, so if you uh, oh, chatted away and, chat away and asked for this lovely pencil pouch right here, we're gonna announce the winner. Here it is, just to kind of show off how beautiful it is. Look at that stencil. I know, it's oh very, very cool. Whole pouch, three kind of thing. Yes. Typing in the chat, keep going chat for it. Away. Yeah. Who's who is it? I like Who's it. it gonna you, know, be? you can see this, I'm gonna just pull yeah, this stencil. You... There's multiple stencils in here, just FYI. Yes, I want it too. <laughs>
I'm gonna put this back before I drop oh. all the things in here. Just like all those, <laughs> yeah. There's so many things. Keep Love chatting. Those different, like, keep chatting. Shapes. Keep Everyone chatting. Everyone needs a pencil pouch. Yes. I think. It's so. It comes so conveniently. Like, just yeah, like. Yeah, and you just like go folded. to your creative session with you know your client or whatever, and you just whip out your your pencil pouch with all the fancy creative tools. Yep, and then embroidered XD. Yeah, staff. I think so. I like pencils too. There aren't that many pencils in the world <laughs> left. They're kind of an endangered species with all these people using these programs. Yep, I agree. <laughs> Although yeah. you sketched, you started with sketching, so oh my you know, chaotic, yeah. You, you probably need you probably need a pencil pouch too. I really do. You still use pencils as well. It's a necessity. I think everyone, or like an essential thing to have. Let's see. It goes this way. Yep. <laughs> yes. Who Beautiful wants it? Pencils. Oh my God! And so the many winner people. is. Alejandro, oh, Alejandro Beta! Yeah. All right, congratulations, Alejandro. Everyone, congrats, congrats. Alejandro. Yeah. Oh my god! Awesome, congratulations. You are you now are the so, proud owner awesome. of this beautiful creative pouch, uh, this XD embroidered pouch. Yes! Yay. Good job, Alejandro. Oh my god. Awesome. All right, cool. Cool. So um, everything is Sam Influencia. Sam Influencia, yeah. yes. Um, and this is the this was the onboarding experience, right? So when you yes. first log in as a what is this a brand or, or both? Perspective. Both. So yeah. either perspective, you're logging in and setting up your profile for the first time, and you have kind of an easy sort of like four step like this is all you need to do to set your profile, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. Um, and I was gonna change this to that, but I'm like, it's like very you can't yeah, see it, right? To the point of it. contrast and the accessibility, um, you wouldn't be able to see it very well. That's right. Yeah, and if I love like chalk black, kind okay. of uh, like that faded black, so so not zero zero zero, but but like a little like uh, a little bit of right here, a little of burnt, a little bit little, more, yeah, a little bit of gray. Yeah, okay. so I think that's what I'm gonna okay. do. Okay, I notice you're staying in that red family with that black, which is nice pro tip, right? Yes. In the same family, beautifully done. But like, yeah, I don't want it to be see through because it's already see through. Mm -hmm. so okay. I'm make it I like here. it. Yep. Yeah, perfect. And what I'm gonna do is, since I like that tone I'm, or color, I'm gonna save it. Okay. So I don't have to like copy, you do know, it a bunch this. of times. Yeah. Did you know, Kevin, that you can actually? Um, yeah. Oh, very cool. That if you have repeatable elements like that, you can paste those buttons at one time across multiple artboards. Oh, I wish I knew that. <laughs> so like, I that could have saved me so much time. <laughs> Um, oh but goodness. really, guys, you can go ahead and if you are making, you know, global buttons like that, um, you know, let's say you make a symbol, you can just select wow. all those artboards at one time and then bam, just copy paste. Holy crap, that's awesome. And no more individual pasting and your fingers don't get fatigued from having to hit Command V so many times. Oh, see, Adobe like already know. They're like, <laughs> see, there's a user like Kevin. Um, we're gonna <laughs> solve that problem. So like, thank you, Adobe. Um, okay, so. We have this finished, and okay. then we have the progress bar. I kind of like it white to show, like, it's a good contrast. That you're uh, going through the progression of the steps, on, okay. Onboarding pages, yeah. Uh, so we're basically finished with this. Okay. And I might change this to that chalk uh, black. Did even change? Oh, Oh, there we go. And oh, Mark, yeah, so showing cool. using it to show flow charts. You've used XD to show flow charts, simple logos, diagrams, and other vector type designs. Um, same here. Absolutely use it for a lot of those kind of um, vector sort of instances. Um, and you know, it really is a pain sometimes to have to go into a new program and you know, and just kind of use that program just for one thing here. Like you know, Illustrator is great, but you can definitely do. Um, make your own icon custom. If you saw Kevin on day two, I think he just spun up a chat, like a message icon in two seconds as we were like, we don't have a message icon. And he's just like, I'm just gonna doop, doop, doop. bust this out in two seconds. Yep. So. I got you guys. And Quan asks, does paste to all artboards command in AI work in XD2? Um, if you mm. wanted to paste to all artboards, you would have to click on all the artboards in XD and it would just paste them that way. So you could select wow. which artboards you want to paste that element to. God damn, that's awesome. Okay. And thank you, Alejandra, the new winner of a pouch for confirming that as well. Oh my gosh, Alejandra, you're gonna have so much fun with that pouch. <laughs> Just like showing it off to everyone. Just showing it off. Let me uh, open up my XD pouch. Like no big deal. With my pencils, because most people don't have pencils in this world anymore. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I'm just thinking this because I was asking for a pencil earlier today, and then they were like, "We don't have any," and I was like, "What?" <gasps> I was like, "What? Oh, How do you no. write things in life?" <laughs> uh, Mark asks, "Is there a way to slide uh, font sizes and line and character spa spacing instead of typing the number directly, like there is in mm. Photoshop?" So when you say slide, Mark, what do you mean specifically? I'm just trying to figure out what you're asking. Okay, so. Okay, so hold and drag in a number. Um, you can do things like being able to right now just um, click on them and you can uh, you can hold shift, I think you can hold shift. Let me just test that real quick. Yep, you can hold shift to go in increments of 10 just like this. Um, and then you can slide them, yeah. Mm-hmm. Holding and dragging a number. I haven't actually tested it, honestly. Let me take a look and give it a try on my screen real quick. Ooh. I'm gonna learn something new as well on this show. Damn, um, awesome. So what you're saying, Mark, is can you actually do it? Oh, you know what? I do remember. Um, yeah, I actually mostly just go in and type. And so just real quick, in case you're wondering about what you can do in that text field or number field, um, let's say that you have a size 40 font kind of guy right here. Um, you can do things like add multiples to it. Um, so if you do um, asterisk and then two, it'll multiply by 80. If you hold shift and you go up and down, you could go by multiples of 70. Um, but in terms of that scrolling you're talking about, I don't believe you can do that right now just yet. But good to know. And uh, if you want to add that feature in to um, the backlog, you can just go ahead and go to Adobe's user voice and check out the submissions there. So. So for the user's voice, is that, can you explain like what that is? Yeah, I can actually go to it real quick. So yeah. um, if you go to uh, type in just search for uservoice.com for Adobe, you can basically go to this site right here and I've actually already filtered it. Um, and this is a great community. Anyone can just sign into their Adobe account and, and participate. And what it does, what it has is any kind of feature you're talking about. So there are a lot of top ideas. This is filtered by top. So you can see that the up, most upvoted request is animate individual elements separately, these micro interactions. And what wow. I love about it um, is that the Adobe team will then come in and they'll actually tell you if something is in the backlog. And so if the feature is in the backlog, if they're actually working on it, which is really awesome, I think that level of transparency is amazing um, wow. for the size of this kind of company. So, but yeah, and then you can just kind of see what, what are they working on right now? You can click on feature started and then you can see every single feature that they're working on. So if you don't see the feature that you want, then um, you can go ahead and go to Adobe's uh, user voice and then add that feature in. That is so cool. Nice. Okay. Um, so on my end, it's just making still everything that salmon or dark salmon. Kind of creating <clears throat> that dominant sort of style. Yeah. Um, and just adding like, okay, it's kind of good to like be consistent with mm -hmm. what color you're making what. So like these like buttons for apply and like send with the text, I'm making it that dark black and salmon mixed color. And then for just regular buttons on the top or these mm -hmm. headers, uh, just giving it that regular uh, salmon color, the bright salmon okay, color. Okay, cool. Um, and let's see, we're still like basically just adding a bunch of stuff mm -hmm. to make it look, you know, pretty. Um, and as far as like photography, uh, the most like concerning thing is just like the user profile and those onboarding pages, okay. or not the onboarding, the login and the sign up page, because uh -huh. it really just introduces you to the app and like what it's trying. The main goal is, which is like collaboration. Yeah. With uh for social media. Cool. And the other pictures would probably be like just adding the user profile images of the faces. Okay. Yeah. So basically, it is all. Colored. And is the, the so are both of the, um, will the user for the influencer and the user for the brand be the same kind of uh, salmon pink uh, motif? Um, yes. Okay, cool. Just to ke uh, keep it consistent. Okay. Yeah. And what do you just do right now? Is that a color overlay on top of that image? Yeah. Okay. So this is another like box okay. that I colored inside mm -hmm. and then I click background blur. Oh, background but, blur. Cause 
for background blur, it's not only about the blur. Mm -hmm. You can even change like the um, uh, brightness. So pro tip right there. So yeah, a lot of people love using that background blur, but the name's a little deceiving because you can actually set the blur to zero and not use the blur motion. <laughs> um, and you can yeah. do what Kevin just did, which is use the same feature to adjust things like contrast yep. and brightness. And so that's pretty cool. Um, it's almost like quick photo editing on the fly using that feature. Yeah, so. it's like Photoshop mm -hmm. inside of it. Yeah, so that's really fun. I think a lot of people do use it for the blur effect, but they don't. There's not as many people who use it for that, which is just to control that contrast and brightness, which can be really, really nice. Yeah, and it's very handy too. Um, yeah, so we did all this. All right. It's just all the details now, you guys. You mm -hmm. know. I promise, like the final product, it's gonna be like, this is like a legit app. <laughs> so now and Raquel, if you're out there, business partners <laughs> with the logo, hey. Fluencia. Fluencia. Go get your uh, license, go get your trademark. <laughs> <gasps> um, okay, so one thing I noticed is that your colors for your assets, if it was a fill, um, it's like that's what go it's gonna change. So mm -hmm. what I would do is I would either do the eyedrop tool and just go straight here. Uh-huh. Or you can do a separate one where you just make a pen and then change this color. I wonder if it's gonna be different. Like if I did this and added it. Well, so some other things you could do, Kevin, is in the colors, oh. you can actually right click. So let's say that you did have set that as a fill. Yeah. Um, you can actually click on the object that you wanted to, so that's a stroke, right? So yeah. um, that's star. You can click on that and then right click on Fluencia Salmon. Yeah. And you can actually apply it on the border. And what that does is that oh. it applies that same color, um, but just for the stroke, not for the fill. Yeah. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. And then you just do this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's cool. Easier. Mm hmm Yeah. And there's a couple other things you can like do that. too. So like if you go back to that menu, there's a couple options on the assets. So uh -huh. one is is that you can just click on it and it applies the fill or whatever that is that you set in the color. Yeah. Um, if you right click, and I can't remember off the top of my head, mm. um, you can also do things like you can edit the fill, you can apply as a fill, you can apply as a border. You can just copy that hex to your clipboard. Um, or it, here's the cool one is actually, I don't know if a lot of you guys have used this, but highlight on canvas. And what highlight on canvas does is if you zoom out for a second, um, it actually will show you, so um, you haven't used this color yet, so it doesn't show you anything, oh. but let's do Fluencia for a second. Yeah. So if you highlight on canvas, it will actually <gasps> a stroke in blue, Ooh. every single instance that is using that color. So you see the stars, the strokes, everything in between. Wait a minute. And I and that works for the colors, that works for the symbols, that works for typography. So if I do, mm -hmm. what? Yeah. And so, you know, if you're trying That's to awesome. create like that brand splash and you wanted to, let's say, um, make a symbol or make a color and you were like, wait a second, I can't remember all the instances of where I put that on my artboard. Um, if you just go to the right click and you go highlight on canvas, it will show you exactly where everything is at. So if we like said like, oh, you know, we don't like that Fluencia salmon. Mm -hmm. We like this like lime green. Mm -hmm. It changes everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So even if you like did a different hue of um, like gray or black, right? Okay. So, and you put that uh, hue of that color on the wireframe, like when you laid it out, mm -hmm. you can save it to your colors mm -hmm. and then- It'll change it. All of that. Yeah, so wow. that's the that's what's actually great about if you work in a wireframe in XD and then you take it over to the visual styling, um, oh. especially if you set up your wires the way you want to. So like Kevin, your vision around like having those brand color accents, you know, mm -hmm. you could actually plan in the beginning that every instance of 000 is going to eventually be changed into my Fluencia salmon color. Yeah. And then what happens is that when you finish making your entire wireframes, um, you just go back to those elements and you just change the color entirely and it wow. saves that. And then you've done already half the work. It's that consistency that you're thinking about at the wireframe level um, that translates directly as you just kind of apply that splash of color. Yeah. Also saving time. Oh yeah, well yeah, because right. you're not going in and you're like not clicking like five million things at once, right? Wow. But we do love Fluencia salmon, so it stays. We do. We love talking about it. <laughs> yep. Can we make that like an actual term, like Fluencia salmon? Fluencia salmon. I mean, now when I see that color red, I'm gonna think about Fluencia salmon. Is there is there like other companies like is there like a Twitter blue or like? Yes. 
Yeah. Is that a thing? There are That's companies do name their uh, primaries oh. after themselves. Often. Tiffany Green. Mm. Or Tiffany, Tiffany Blue. Tiffany Blue. <laughs> Tiffany Blue. Tiffany Blue. Yeah. And thanks, Val, for the reminder. Yeah, 45 minutes until we're going to be reviewing some portfolios at the end of this segment. So feel free to check out the portfolio review tab, submit yes. your portfolio. And if you are lucky enough to be one of the two um, portfolios that we review today, yeah. hashtag Ruthless Sam. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ruthless Salmon. Ruthless salmon. salmon. Hashtag oh Ruthless Kevin. Yes. And hashtag Ruthless. <laughs> he eats Ruthless <laughs> Salmon for breakfast. Um, he will be reviewing um, the work uh, yes. that you have there. So. Watch out for that, you guys. Hashtag Ruthless Salmon Eating Ruthless <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yep. That's, yeah. Watch out, you guys. Yep. Love these hacks as well, Kirsten. And if there are any hacks that you guys know on the chat, please feel free to share. Um, yes, you know, we would do. love to give them a try on the show. Ruthless Salmon. Hashtag Ruthless Salmon. That's what it's going to be. Oh my god, you guys are crazy. <laughs> you know what happens when you have just food on the brain? You're like, I don't know. Think of food all the time. Salmon's oh. great. Yeah, I kind of Hi, NL. And for those of you guys who are just joining with us right now, um, you're here with our lovely guest um, creative, uh, Kevin Lee, who is a social influencer, has a beautiful set of photos on Instagram, is a UX UI designer. And I'm your host, Jessica Moon. Um, who is also a UX designer, and we are here on day three yes. of the th and the third segment, the third segment of day three, so three three of making a social influencer mobile app, and yes. Kevin and Kevin is making both two personas, the brands who are looking for the social influencers, as well as the social influencers who want to make connections and you know engagements with those brands. Yeah. Um, and yeah, maybe I'll I love this. So, so you made basically like a, a touring kind of light. Um, here are the elements on the page overlay. That is really nice. Yeah. So, basically, how I did this is super easy, you guys. Mm -hmm. Um, so this one's for Discover Overlay. I'll just prototype it again if you are just joining us right now. Um, and also, I'm like super proud of it. So, I want to show it off. <laughs> totally. Uh, <laughs> Basically, you would click, okay, this is where you would use it. So they're like, okay, what do I do? Like, what does this mean if you've never seen a search I don't icon understand. Before? There's all these things yeah. here. I don't know what to do. Then like, oh, I know a question mark. I have a question about this. Mm -hmm. So they like do that. And then it highlights those elements. See, that is so cool. But one thing I noticed is with this, mm -hmm. it's like very light. So I'm going to make this darker. Okay. So wait, when I like that real-time prototyping there. Look at that. There we go. Uh, maybe a little bit. So. Okay. Do this. Okay, there. It's like I'm trying to make this more visible, like readable. Okay. I think that's readable. Do you guys think it's readable? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Huh. Thinking face. Um, yeah. yeah. So, okay. So, I'll just show you a quick tutorial. Yeah, that. so if you can, just show everybody how to make an overlay. This is a relatively new feature that just came out in, it came out in XD a little while ago. Yeah. Um, and if you're a big prototyper, then you can definitely, uh, you'll definitely love this. So, what I did was, I'm going to exit this. Mm -hmm. Is this like an artboard? Why is this green? Yes, it's artboard. But your fill is at zero, I'm pretty sure, right? So if you were to select the artboard oh, itself, yep, it's at zero. Oh. It's at, um, it doesn't show. It's not visible. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Um, so first, I would bring the actual page that I want to be underneath the overlay. I would group it so it would be easier to delete later. Mm -hmm. And you see this, then I would put another box on top of it. Mm -hmm. Delete this. Uh, I'll just make this gray and then kind of like show what's b behind it. Mm -hmm. And I would do this. Oh, this is another cool feature, the dotted lines. So instead of like a solid line for a circle, you can like, you can use what's beneath it as a template mm -hmm. to like where things are. So I put that circle there. I want to get rid of the fill. I want to make it white. Okay. Uh, make a thickness of two, the size, and then this dash thing is really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, make that a five, and then rounded edges. Yep. So if you look really closely, 
instead of uh, like these yep. squares. Yep, you made the endpoints round. Endpoints round. Oh, what's Beautiful. this one? Beautiful. And um, that one is. Does it pop up? Oh, round projecting cap. Mm -hmm. That one. So I did this, and then I basically got the pen tool, made an arrow, super quick. Arrow. Hold up. Hold shift. Oh, I can't even see it because it's the same <laughs> color. I was like, what? Um, two round edges. Kind of just the way you want that arrow to be shaped. Okay. And just kind of show that that's the, yep. And like have fun with it. It doesn't have to be straight. It could be, you know what, this is like, I'll do that. Because it's. Because you can't see the line. <laughs> you want to like wave it around like, ooh, like where am I going? Yep. Like just kidding. We're going to meet right right here okay um but this and then do this two, boom and five now i saw you just did that in the strokes can i show you a quick uh, shortcut related to that yes so Let's go start. back and hit command z and command z again so you just have the straight line okay. so if you go back to your circle dotted line right there and you right click on so select the object oh this one the circle yep yeah. and then right click on it Oh, okay. On the object itself, yep. You can actually copy it, and from there, if you go to the line, you can paste the parents. And what that does, and there's two forms of paste the parents, Ooh. but you can paste the parents of styles in XD in design mode, and you can actually paste interactions in prototype mode. Oh. And so, you know, you can actually start to kind of make those styles as well, and then have that consistency across those kind of objects as well. Oh my goodness. And then Juan so Cruz cool. asks, what version of XD are you guys using? Um, Kevin, if you don't mind going to XD and showing about XD, mm -hmm. we are on the latest version here. You can always find what version you are here. Um, if you're not on the latest, you won't get the strokes and all those cool uh, things that we just showed off. So make sure that you update your app. But yep, yeah, that's yeah. it. And for those of you guys who haven't tried out XD yet, you can definitely download your free trial, um, a free version, the starter version, and do basically all these things. So mm. highly recommend you give it a try. It's just like also a fun thing like, oh my God, I can make like an app? Like what? Yeah, you can make a prototype that's going to work on your phone because yeah. we're actually going to show off um, the prototype on the native app as well in a little bit. Yes. And welcome, Yanina. You are not late. We are just in the middle of going through this beautiful overlay flow that Kevin made for the Fluencia app. Yeah. Oh, so basically, you guys, this is what you could could have done before the update. But let's say you wanted something to do with what I showed you in the beginning of the show today, uh, the quick chat. Mm -hmm. So you would. We're trying to target this question mark. I don't know what happened to that question mark. It like disappeared. <laughs> okay, I'll just copy and paste this here. <laughs> um, so let's say someone's using this page and they're like, oh, okay, um, I want to, I'm not gonna even use that question mark, so I don't know why I even <laughs> put that there. Okay, so they're like, oh, I wanna like message this person and mm -hmm. then this pops up. Yep. Uh, the way you can do that is make it an artboard with the same dimension as the iPhone X and uh, put a box and then just like do whatever you want to put like either a drop down menu or a message system. Mm -hmm. So in this case, it's a quick chat and you can prototype it. And let's say I want to do the second person messaging. Okay. Yep. And put it on here. And then you want to, instead of transition, go to overlay uh -huh. and connect this to yep. B2, uh, what is this called? search to uh -huh. instead of dissolve you could do slide down from the top okay so you want to come down from the top yep and then you can move this you can like kind of see it like where it's going to end up mm -hmm. yep so as you drag that element what you guys are seeing right yep. now is um that green bounding box shows you the size yes. of the artboard and then kevin's uh quick chat is on the very top of the artboard and so it'll just Position that artboard and you can actually see where it's going. Can you even move this? So you can't move it if the artboards are the same sizes. But let's say oh, for a second yeah. that you, you just have to change the artboard size. So if you go and select the artboard itself, um, like the title is what I usually select for artboards, you can actually adjust the size. Yep. 
and let's just make it go up because you want to you want to move it right so just oh, kind of make it smaller and yeah. then now go back to the overlay option because from the yep oh. and so now you'll see that the green area shows at the of the bounding box of just the artboard but you can actually move the artboard up and down so um, if you um, this is actually really great for beyond just like these kind of full width or full screen menu transitions but let's say that was a modal for a second you can definitely make a smaller artboard within the larger oh, artboard you have it in and using overlay kind of position it wherever you'd like I don't know if you want to yeah, put I don't want to do that I don't <laughs> want to do that, <laughs> I don't know if you do so... that. <laughs> yeah I'm like uh, and uh, yes Heiner we will be publishing Kevin's um, prototype 2 to, to your channel so that you guys can take a look at it and make your comments because maybe you do want those drop shadows or maybe Avenir yeah. isn't your favorite font or maybe some other shenanigans. Um, but yes, we Wait, will definitely. Said Avenir's not their favorite font. There's some people in the chat who don't, I'm, who aren't, who mm. aren't like, who aren't in your camp of, of Avenir. Do you I know would what say. they call me on the show? <laughs> Ruthless Kevin. Ruthless <laughs> salmon eating Kevin. <laughs> Ruthless salmon eating Kevin. That's what I'm gonna call we you. just mix everything together. <laughs> yep. And yes, Anel, I think it's looking great as well. I think Thank that you. overlay is slick. That interaction is awesome. Thanks, guys. You. And we all Thanks want his hair. Well, I want his hair. Wow. Yep. Can they, how can they see it like from that far away? Well, they can see everything. <laughs> oh, they can see everything. Enhance. <laughs> they can probably <laughs> no. just zoom in. Oh, yeah. And true, <laughs> look yeah. at the top of your hair. We have some great camera. Well. And welcome, Marshall. And Linda was asking if you're going to be making a kit someday because she just loves the work you're doing. Aw. Yeah. Yeah. I think about that. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Okay. So thank you for showing us the overlays. That is some yeah. really fun stuff. I love, love what's going on here. All um, right. Let's see. And in just around 45 or so minutes, or a little bit less, we're going to be reviewing some portfolios. So make sure if you're just tuning in um, to go to the portfolio review tab. We'll be looking at two of these, and we'll be uh, letting Ruthless Kevin here make some great critiques around um, the work that you have. Watch out. <laughs> yes, da, Val. Da, 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 <laughs> There's a forever da, da. quote that we'll play. Is, Do you even know what they call me on this show? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, yes. I agree, oh Mary. God. The overlays are such a great way of communicating that direction. I yeah. think it's a it's a it's definitely something, you know, people always assume when you're making these apps that they're naturally intuitive, but you're throwing all these new elements and all these widgets and the bobs in there and um, having that kind of really simple like look at what you're looking at is is really nice. Yep. Um so I'm just kind of looking for uh, campaign photos. Okay. So that's the Sips by profile photo. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna Google like Sips by. Okay. And see if there's anything that pops up. So like, use this image or just drag it. And looking at that, wow! Just dragging it all the way over from the browser straight into the app. Very nice. Yeah. It now your other one's in the artboard on the right. I think you oh, must have dragged it. It's like a really big photo. <laughs> is there a way to like um, put it inside of this when it's already on the artboard? No, so the way it works is that if you want to insert an image, um, you can take it from your desktop and you can put it straight in, um, just like that, yep. Oh, okay. If you have to hover over the actual element itself. So gotcha. those objects on the artboard are ready for any kind of visual, you know, PNG or JPEG. You just need to make sure when you target it, it goes in, and then bam. So you could just go straight from the web. You can go from a Damn. folder. It is Watch easy. Watch out. Yep. Yes, Kevin, that thought is not fair, but we will be streaming more, so please stay tuned. All right. Okay. Um. And so adding that kind of lovely darker color to the top of the categories, I love it. That that lovely fluenza pink, that fluenza salmon. Fluenza. Sorry, I said pink. Salmon. I'm salmon. Offended. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. From that. Uh, you know what? I might just do black because we have this red. Okay, a little too much red. Yeah. A little too much of that. Okay. I like it. It's actually much more legible, I think, with that darker color. Yeah. And then. I'm gonna move this hub box to change this. All right. And if you're just tuning in, say hi. You know, let us know where you're from. We always yeah. love knowing where everyone is. It's a beautiful global audience. And so, just love hearing it. We're located in San Francisco right now. So, 
That's what I love about this show. It's like people from everywhere. I know. So there's like, a beautiful connectivity. Yeah. Um, let's see. A couple more pictures of Six, the sips. Five. Yes, Barrett. I agree that the ruthless salmon does look nice. Yeah. <laughs> ruthless salmon. <yeah. laughs> Rename that asset to ruthless oh salmon. I, wait. <laughs> I'll just do that right now. Thank you for the for the feedback there. I'll do the hashtag and everything. Hi, Marcos from Brazil. Yeah, raise your hand if you're a student in chat. If you have questions around, you know, what it's like being a UX designer, Kevin has some great tips. Yes. Shared them with the last episodes. But if you want to know anything more about his hair or about his background or about why he's a great UX designer, uh, let us know in chat. Please tell me. Um, and just going to Instagram mode. Awesome. Just to like grab photos. Yeah. From oh, that's room. a beautiful photo. I love her hair. Great. <laughs> um, just to like match their aesthetic. Mm -hmm. And like, we have a lot of time. We're just, we're, <laughs> we're, you know, we've got some time. We're having we can, fun. We can curate. You know, photo curation is so important though, especially in a really beautifully visual um, layout like this. I mean, influencers, photography, this is the whole, this is the whole point, right? Yeah. And. So we have all those screenshots from our desktop right here. Um, sorry, I'm gonna put everything in each folder. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how organized you are. It's insane. <laughs> I love it. Oh it, may, it puts me to shame. <laughs> Jeez. <Yeah. laughs> I just have to have everything neat. And then I'm going to actually take these four photos. Uh -huh. And since it's a repeat grid, it just does it for you like that. Magic, yeah. my favorite tool. Yep. Yeah, so if you didn't just catch that right now, Kevin had a repeat grid, so it's not just for lone squares there in the wilderness. <laughs> it is a rounded corners. It is um, four images that he put in the repeat grid, and he just went into his very organized <laughs> folder <laughs> there, took those four yeah. pictures, and popped them straight in, and voila. Voila, and that's what you get. Mm -hmm. I know, Anmol. Look at that file structuring. <sighs> Yep. Yeah. Ruthless organization. Done by Gosh. Ruthless Kevin. Ruthless Kevin. Using Ruthless While Salmon. Eating ruthless Salmon. <laughs> Everything connects. <laughs> you have a new handle on Instagram. You should change it for one day and see what <laughs> oh happens. My gosh. You'll get more followers. <laughs> <laughs> Whole new side of you. Um and you said applies border. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Cool. Yep. That is a great and easy feature to use for the assets for sure. Nice. Um, and I think I'll just, it doesn't have to be all different photos. We can just like play around with Do this. Do whatever you want. Yeah. yeah. And so. look at that magic. And. Absolutely love it. Oh, so I guess I'll show them if I want to find like headshots for different people on Adobe stock. Okay. Adobe.stock.com, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Or you can just do it. I just Google everything. Nowadays, I don't even think about URLs. I just oh, stock brain, up. search bar, and then bam, <laughs> magic. What should I look up? Like trendy hipster. Trendy hipster. Instagram. <laughs> oh, face. <laughs> I know, Eric. We're being so mean to him. We're the ruthless ones, right? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's not even ruthless at all. Uh, it's okay. And Mark asks, is there a way to auto update or sync my designs with my published prototypes? Well, right now, Ooh. Mark, you need to be able to update that all the time. And I'm not too sure that the auto update is always a good idea, right? Like what if you want iterations yeah. and you want to save different versions? You might not want that auto update in case you want to keep that last sort of instance you have. So influencer headshot, what hipster, trendy hipster didn't work. She seems cool. Right? She I has like, like yeah. yeah she's, I like her hair. She's a seriously cool person. Let's do it. I mean, that's aggressive, but maybe we'll do- A little too aggressive? <laughs> <laughs> we'll do this one. All right. So license, uh, or save, license and save to my library. And it should pop up. All right. And it will pop up in your library soon. Just got to give it a couple seconds or scroll down. Maybe it's, uh, oh, I think it'll probably just take a little bit. Yep. Maybe I should refresh it. And go for it. And hello, DR from the Netherlands. We're oh, over at once. Uh, it's two o'clock here in San Francisco. 
We keep thinking it's I keep like thinking, San Diego. You see me say San yeah. Francisco slower because I want to say San Diego. But San I, Diego. San Francisco. And hello, Anel from Tampa, Florida. Shout out if you're in any location that we haven't called out yet. We want to know where you're yes. from. We want to know what Egypt. time it is. We yep. had, what else? Germany. Germany. Yep. Cameroon. Cameroon. Mm -hmm. Almost midnight. Thank you for staying with us, Kirsten. We are so <laughs> thankful for your uh, viewership. So Hawaii, Brazil, Walter. Ooh. Yep. Kansas City. Nice. Michael. Mexico with Alejandra. Mexico. Hello, Shlomi from Israel. Wow. Israel, that's yep. awesome. Cool, so you're getting yeah. some headshots right now, right? Yes, and yep. I think we already did that. I'm Hi Kyle from North Carolina, Miami Beach with Tom. Wow. It's a lot, man. <gasps> okay, oh, and so awesome. you've got some cool headshot action going in here. Awesome. Yes, okay. And I think we're kind of on the verge of finishing. It's just... Catherine from Guadalama, hi. Okay, cool. So you have some photos dropping in here. Love it. And okay, nice. The fact that I like couldn't even see that from like how zoomed out it was. Eric thinks that like, we need your photo in there, Kevin. My photo. And that lovely hair of yours. <gasps> Thank you, Eric. <laughs> um, I think that's basically. It. I'm gonna just check every artboard. 420, thanks for catching us before dinner. Uh, Dariel asks, you know, is there any tips for students, Kevin? The 20 here. Oh, um, yeah, so I think, well, tips in like what aspect? Just like in design? Maybe just UX, just design. UX? You know, you were a student at some point, you went to um, Or just like a life, CSU. student life. advice. Tips for <laughs> students, go for Enjoy both. while it lasts. Do both. Yeah. Enjoy. Literally enjoy while it lasts, like being a student, like especially the discounts. <laughs> The discounts, oh my God. Milk those discounts while they last. Spotify, this, oh, everything. But <laughs> um, for design-wise, I would say, you know, get a good group of like design friends that you mm -hmm. guys can either talk design about or um, critique each other's work, just empowering each other and making your own community together and going to, to design events together. Because I think the best moments for me were um, going to design events with the, uh, my design friends. So having that community, I think that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of, you know, even when you were mentioning yesterday, a lot of that kind of entry was just going to all those networking events. Yes. It helps having a friend. It helps, you know, making that community just for yourself and then going to those, so. I remember yeah. my first networking event. Um, it was, I think it was Creative Mornings and it was just, it was my sophomore year in college. Mm -hmm. It was me and my two other friends. Mm -hmm. we were so nervous, we were like, Oh my God, we're not gonna talk to anyone. We're just gonna get the coffee, see the presentation and go. And <laughs> um, and that's what happened. <laughs> like, Wait, really? Yeah, that, that's what really happened. Like the first time. It's not like this like inspiration story, but as we kept going to more, we would like stop and like talk to someone next to us. So mm -hmm. it's just going to these events and improving your social skills and yep. like improving You just kind of step into it. I think that's great. I yeah. mean, you are incredibly fun to talk to and really easy. I mean, when we had when we um, hit it off in the first two seconds, right? Yes. So so oh easy. Gosh. So awesome. Yeah, and and uh, people suggest buying a computer with your student discount. Yep. Yeah, uh, I did. Eric. And yes, go travel to the world, <laughs> find those peers, uh, community. They're all great advice. I agree, Kyle. Yeah. Um, yep. Study abroad, see the world. And Alejandra yeah, asks, yeah, Kevin, do you only design for iOS? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, I'm open. I'm He's open. Like, yeah. But um, I'm only familiar with iOS. But <laughs> hey, if I can do Android, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I've never been exposed to Android. Sure, sure. So. Um, but I like Apple. Okay, okay. Well, and you have an <laughs> Apple product right here. We're gonna show the prototype in a little bit. Actually, can we uh, maybe publish this soon and then get yeah. show it to the people in chat? Yeah, well, cool. we can well, actually we probably have? publish it now, I think. All right, um, a couple more photos there. Yeah, and I think we're good. And hello from France, Adrian. Thank you. Oh, France. Loves your work, <gasps> Kevin. Thank I you. Agree. Yep. 
Nice. <laughs> Congrats on winning the World Cup. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. It was a good game. It was good, good, good matches. Yeah. yeah, I think we're ready to publish this. All right, let's do it. Cool. So um, publishing, super easy. Let's go ahead and do that. And uh, you know, you can actually add passwords now or create private links. Are mm -hmm. we gonna add a password here? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> oh right. no, ruthless Kevin. No, that's just like an extra. Let's just step. leave it. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> you can name the prototype ruthless Kevin. Oh, okay. Hashtag <laughs> ruthless. I don't know if that is. Oh, I'm curious what's gonna happen if you put a hashtag. Just... I'll just write hashtag. I'm just, I'm just scared. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so publishing that link. Okay. Um, and then it's, okay. There's just a lot of boards. There's a lot of boards in here, and this yeah. is the first time publishing. It goes faster after your first one. All right, cool. So there's the link. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see, how can you send that to me? Maybe we can just publish it in the chat somehow. Oh, should it just go on the chat? Well, let's okay. go, so let's take a look at it and see if we can go here. All right, there it is. All right, cool. So um, just copy the the link to your thing or just open the window. Let's take a look at oh, the prototype. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Oh. All right, and there it is Ooh. so far. So we have this first page, and I think that the hot spots, yep. So they oh, work. Sure. Yep. And, oh. Yeah. Oh, but you know what? Um, we didn't so even prototype you didn't, it. We didn't prototype it yet. Yeah. So this is a good first start. We should probably link up all those things. Is there only two? Only two pages that you linked so far. Oh, so it only publishes it show, mm -hmm. the one that you prototype. So yeah, so when you publish a prototype, okay. um, wherever you set as the home page will appear. So if you see on the top left corner of that opening screen, there's that little blue with the um, house icon. So that's always where your prototype will start when you publish it live. And from that point, it's everything you link and everything that's linked is going to be the published prototype. So anything you don't link won't be seen. Um, it's just, it's a real simulation of that clickable prototype that you want. Yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm pretending I'm a brand going through this app. Okay. So like, that's how like I connect it. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna click this. Add a new photo, we didn't do anything for that yet. We're not gonna do anything. And then they're done with this. Um, and then they just basically go back or Going forward. There. Okay. Um, and I like I actually like going through this because it's just fun in general. Okay. So for this is a good example of okay, since the artboards are next to each other, mm -hmm. I have to like zoom out and then like really reach for here. Mm -hmm. I could just like literally click this, mm -hmm. go here. Go and then pick discover. the artboard that you want. Awesome. Yeah. This only works, guys, for uh, those who name their artboards. For all of us who don't name our artboards out there, uh, you will <laughs> you will not be able to use that feature <laughs> very well. So make sure um, you name them. Yeah. And Amal asks, "Oh, uh, I don't want my overlay artboards to be shown in prototyping numbering. Any workaround for that?" Um, good question. So if you're saying, let me just, I'll take a look while you're doing this. So okay. don't, don't look at my screen. I'm just going to go okay. and just cool. answer that question real quick. Yeah. Go so if you me. have an artboard here and you're doing this there, let's see. And this object goes there and it's an overlay. Oh wait. I think it all be the slide down transition. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't, because that would be really bad. Yeah, they're all slide down. Okay. Okay, so, so what to are you answer, doing? yeah, so on Mal asked the question, you know, I don't want my overlay artboards to be shown in the prototyping numbers. Mm. Um, you right now, the way it works is that it will show up, and the reason why is because it is going to show artboards, right? Mm. Um, and mm. and that's just kind of an interaction state. And even though like you probably don't want it to be seen that way, it it will be helpful um, because if you're going to be, you know, showing an interaction to a client and you have a specific page that you want to 
show them um, to and have them go to, you know, it'll it'll actually be a good place to um, save that reference link. So, oh, okay. so you know, there are pros and cons to like every workflow, but yeah, I think that that would be probably a good benefit at the end of the day. Gotcha. And so, um, let me just do this real quick and do it quick. Hmm. You can also do like slide left, slide right. How much time do we have? Probably like so we minutes. have only around 15 minutes for you guys to get your submissions in for portfolios, and we will review too. But yeah. Nice. Um, so I'm going to just put these as all dissolved for now, and then maybe if we have time, we can just slide left, slide right. Okay. Um, but just to get the gist of the idea, I'll just have these all dissolved. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so excited for everyone to like go through it. And then so uh, cool. and to, to ruthlessly give you feedback back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, okay, so one real quick thing is, because uh, Amal, you asked a really good question. I'm just gonna show, I was doing playing around on my screen, but I'll actually show you what what, uh, what she was, what she was, he or she was asking. So, um, so basically the question was, if, you know, Kevin's got this great, um, overlay magic on his screen. And so if I were to be Kevin, but make a very less cool version of what he's making, um, and I have three artboards here, and I know that this is gonna be a box that will uh, trigger an interaction on the left. So let's say it's, here's the box here, and then on this next screen, what I want is to it to show a right side slide menu. So I'm gonna make this menu real quick, um, and it's gonna go full here. And it'll just be this like pop-up that'll go on the right and we'll make it that off black like Kevin likes. And yes. no fill, so that way you only see um, that guy right there. And then I'm gonna just make a third artboard here just to show um, that there's more artboards, right? So, you know, I'm making this thing here. So in prototype mode, I would go ahead and I would say, when I click this red box, um, I want it to, trigger an overlay interaction where this black bar on the right will, let's just say slide left. And so what that looks like if I hit command enter is you see that if I click on this, it'll show that slide left, right? And what the question was, was I don't want to see this URL or this kind of page show up in the prototype because, um, and I'm just gonna finish hooking, um, I'll make one more element here, which is this is a blue icon and then this thing will go like this small and then this will trigger. Let's just say this is a regular transition. So we're just saying like, if you click on this, it just shows that, right? So um, so the question was, if you were to go here and you have this prototype and you wanna publish it to the web, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit publish and, or I already published it, so I'm just gonna update the link mm -hmm. and waiting for it to upload. And I'll go ahead and take a look at that publish link. Um, at the bottom of any published prototype, you'll see at the bottom the pagination numbers. And you can actually go ahead and use either the keyboards or you can click on it. So I was using keyboard um, left and right arrow, but you can also just kind of click on these arrows to go through the prototypes. And the question was, you know, you don't want to maybe see that overlay because it really is that interactive element, if you will. Um, but the thing is, is that it is also nice, um, I, there is a good use case for having it separate. And the, and the use case is this. If you look at the URL on top right here, this is the shareable link that you can give your clients or your developers when you're passing off files um, or stakeholders. But let's just say that you had a conversation on that right navigation that flies out. You may just want to actually have that element right there um, that you can see in that artboard be the, the point of the conversation. My URL right here has an append to it that has the name of the artboard to it. And that means that I can copy that whole URL and it'll take that person, that stakeholder directly to that page. Mm -hmm. um, and you can get them to just say, hey, you know, there's a lot of dialogue around this um, menu on the right. I want to have a conversation, so put your comments on this page here. So there's some advantage to having those artboards specifically for that use case, because you may just want to um, have a conversation and point people directly to that page. Wow. So that's just kind of one way to think about maybe using those artboards um, that are overlays, just because you might want to have that link, especially nice. if it's like an element that you're having a lot of conversation around. Yeah. But anyway, enough of that. So let's go ahead and go back to you, Kevin. What do you got for us? <laughs> yeah, so I'm still doing the <laughs> still um, prototype, still prototyping. stringing everything together. That's cool. Because there's so many different, you know, features on this, you know. 
So we're gonna actually change this to. And then Maul's a good, uh, that's a very good piece of feedback. I highly recommend you add that to user voice and uh, see what the team says around maybe having the option to treat it as a hidden or unlinked artboard. I'm sure if you search artboard features in user voice, you will see a couple suggestions just kind of around the ability to do stuff like that, so. All right, we've only got nine minutes left. Just a quick reminder for everyone who is planning on submitting a portfolio for Ruthless Kevin to go ahead and review. Yep. Um, we will be taking a look at two today and he'll be giving you some great critique on your work. I'm so excited, you guys, to <laughs> like, do this for you. Um, it's almost done. Almost done. It's gonna be done in the yes. five minute mark. So we're gonna do be almost finished with this. Okay. We have that. We have message. And are we gonna try this on the phone? Is um, that what we're yes, doing? Yes, we should. Okay, cool. So for those of you guys who are curious, um, there is a phone on our uh, table here, and it's Kevin's phone. And um, <laughs> iOS. Um, and basically, what we're going to do is, um, if you can, um, if you'd like to, you can actually download the Adobe XD app on your phone. And if you install the app on your phone, what that does is, it, if you connect it to, if you tether it to your computer, you can actually um, see in real time when you're working in a file. So when Kevin opens up that window and you can see the preview, you can actually also see it as its native preview on the actual application itself. And so from here, you can kind of say, you can be designing, you can be clicking on an artboard that's in the program, and on the phone, you'll see it in real time. And this is really, really great, um, especially if you want to see that fidelity on the actual phone itself um, and kind of get the pixel to pixel value. Um, I think we'll also show it through QuickTime maybe. And so if we're going to do that, you know, you can also project that phone on your device. And so, you know, if you're a big fan of running usability tests and you want to um, see how users interact with your prototype and watch it and record it, you can actually just hook this up to your computer, open up QuickTime and record them as they go through that session on Mac. So, and yes, Rodney, it is, it is definitely working on Mac. So it's really great for that. All right. Okay, so almost, so almost done with the wiring. It's like a wiring a. It's like a countdown. <laughs> it's like ten, nine. Okay. And after the show, you know, we will post this um, up. So if you want to comment on the prototype, please feel free to. We'd love to hear your feedback. Yes, please. I am. I love feedback, um, especially constructive criticism. <laughs> constructive criticism, so, especially if it's constructive. <laughs> yeah, so please give me it. <laughs> okay, I think it's all done. All right. So, as you can see, you can see all the journeys and like everything connecting, mm -hmm. um, which is crazy. There's mm -hmm. a lot of hotspots, so have fun. <laughs> And yeah, I think we're ready to do this. All so right. um, should, should we, I publish it first? Should we just then? test it and make sure all the things work on your on the computer? Just a okay. preview? So do quick time for that? Oh no, just a, I was gonna say just oh. the actual preview on the SD yeah. file, yeah. We'll do that. Just in case. So yeah. let's say uh, sign up. Yep. I'm a brand. Mm hmm Submit application, success. So they're done. Okay. Uh, and then they could log in. Okay. Enter new password, yep. upper photo, just and uh, onboarding. Yep, onboarding, cool. Um, and then, ooh, I'm gonna search something, and I'm gonna message them really quick. All right. Do that. Go to her profile, favorite her. Okay. Um. Looks that. like it's all working. Yeah, looks fun. Okay, let's do it on your phone. So. Cool. Um. Drum roll. This is oh. Wait, the world is going to actually see your <laughs> <laughs> The world's going to actually see your notifications there. Let's go yeah. make sure you open um, the app first. Let's see. Let's do a quick time again. And then new movie recording. Mm -hmm. Cool. Nice. And you did you want to go through it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go through it. Okay. So um, let's see. So you're actually looking at Kevin's screen right now. Um, it's also in QuickTime, so you can record this. And so let me give this a go. So 
I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna use hot spots. I know it actually works. <laughs> so I'm getting started. I don't need to. Um, I guess I can just set up my profile right now. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna tap on that. I like the touch target size. Very, very nice. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and go left and right. All right, so I see I can discover. So this is a feed where you can see blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> Love that blah, 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 lip sum. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna keep going. Um, I like how the buttons are nice on the bottom, very ergonomic, I like it. Um, and so I'm here and then I can go to collab all right, so this is interesting. This is where I do blah, blah, blah. And I keep going here. I do this is who you are, blah, blah, blah. And from here, I am done. My creative director was like, oh, well, Kevin ignoring his work Slack message. <laughs> awesome. I love you, Ellie. <laughs> All right, cool. So I am on this beautiful page that has um, a couple neat interactions. Um, All fashion influencers. Yep and very cool pictures here. I see there's that fixed element on the bottom, which is that overlay. So if I click on it, woo, Ooh. there it is. So that beautiful overlay sort of interactive help experience, really nice. Um, so I can see this is where you find with the search um, influencers. This is where the filter system is. Um, this is where the brand influencer portfolio is. And I feel like I've got it. I get what this UI is. I'm gonna hit okay or yep, and then scroll down. Now, can I interact with the the menu? Yes, I can. I cheated and then look at the menu. So mm. I can go to the star. So these are my faves. Scrolling the same down. Same thing, the same, same person. Same thing, same fine. person, the selfie people. <laughs> Love it. Okay. And I am just gonna go here. So, oh, it's a favorite. Oh, Understood. I didn't connect that one. <laughs> that's okay, okay, that's okay. So, uh, that's what the prototypes are for, right? Yes. So you can look at yeah. it and catch those wirings because there's a lot of wiring that has to be done there. Yeah. And, yep, oh, all right, Party House wants us to have <laughs> the fixed top bar. That is a piece of feedback from, oh, our, that's a good from feedback. our fellow creatives here. Yes. And uh, messaging, so I'm here I am at messaging. Okay, so I am so stoked to work with you. Oh my God, yas. <laughs> uh, I usually charge 700 a post. Sounds good. All right, cool. So I can, yeah. if I wanna go here, I can compose a new message and mm. search a message. Very cool. And then if I go to the home um, or the person, I see sips by. Um, I can scroll down, look at my campaigns. I like that. Oh. Very cool. Yep. There's, there's a little bit of a little, little swoop there. That's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll just scroll past that. Well, we didn't <laughs> uh, see. We didn't see, didn't anything. see anything. We didn't see anything. Um, Instagram posts. Yep. Um, very cool. All the people you've worked with. This is all great. I have everything here. Mm. Um, and then some other interactions, like if I wanted to add a campaign, I can do that. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. A lot so, of stuff to go through here. That is a lot of so. interactions. Oh, and I didn't do the filters. So here are the filters. Cool. So kind of seeing the followers. You know, for those of you who didn't see the segment yesterday or the day before when we were doing the wireframes, these were borrowed from one of the UI kits that you can get. Um, you can find them in the menu and in the start screen of Adobe XD. Awesome. Love it. All right. Awesome. So here it is. Yeah. Here is your phone. Thank you. Very cool. <laughs> and there is the prototype. And you've got about one minute left if you want to have your portfolio reviewed by us. Um, so, you know, I think all that's left is just to publish this thing, right? Yeah. And and throw Ooh. it out to our chat wild so they can get, they can also give their town. feedback. Let's and yes, Laura, ruthless. I think it's amazing as well. Um, Thank you, Laura. Yep. Oh, Linda right, cool. says, I love your process. I am a very organized designer, so I appreciate your workflow. Thank you. Yes. It does take a bit of you time, get me. but it's definitely <laughs> worth it. Yeah. And Catherine, you wanted to answer you. I'm sorry I missed what you said. Can you repeat what you had asked us? Catherine, <laughs> we're Catherine listening we're now. We're you right were right just here. so uncaptivated by, uh, we're just <laughs> captivated by Kevin's prototype here. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Aww. All right, only a couple seconds left. So yeah, we'll definitely send out the link later so you guys can see the prototype and comment. Yeah, should I and publish this? And I think that or? the time is up for, yeah, you should publish it for okay. the portfolio submissions. Cool. So just give me a second as you publish and I will take a look at the submissions. Sweet. Okay, so when I got the link, it only still shows 
two of the artboards. Did you update oh, the? Update. Yeah, yeah got to update the prototype. Yeah, cool. Cool. I think it's updated. Oh, sorry. A separate dog? Oh. Understood. Live, you guys. Woohoo! Have fun. Very cool. <laughs> Have fun. Have at it. <laughs> Have at it. Be ruthless. Ooh. All right, cool. So, um, with that being said, I think it's time for us to take a look at some portfolios. Ooh, we yeah. have two submitted. Let's do it. And The air is safe. <laughs> can oh. I actually open this thing? Oh yeah, I Whoa. can. <laughs> Welcome. Where do we go? Welcome to the portfolio of you guys. <laughs> we are uh, in space right now. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure <laughs> that it's air is breathable because <laughs> otherwise we would be dead right now. <laughs> All right, enough of this thing. I can't talk with this. But I mean, I can't. It's stuck. I always have wanted to be so. an astronaut, so I think this is <laughs> the hair. <laughs> Stop! I can't take it off. I'm sorry. Actually, I like it. <laughs> Just keep it on for the whole segment. <laughs> All right. I can't. So, so Kevin is going to stay as an astronaut for this portfolio <laughs> review. <laughs> All right, ooh, 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 let's give okay. it a second. Here we go. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, he stuck, it. he stuck it in. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's center okay. ourselves around yeah. these lovely portfolios. Okay. So, uh, welcome to the portfolio review segment. I can't look at you. Oh my God. <laughs> um, we're going to be looking at. <sighs> We're going to be looking at two portfolios today, Kevin. Okay, yeah. Uh, the first one is going to be from Ma. Thank you, Ma. You have been so oh. awesome on the chat. So looking forward to looking at your portfolio. And the second one will be from Sunil, if I'm saying that Sunil. right, I believe. Wow. All right, cool. So Ma is a UX UI developer and front-end developer from Cairo. Wow, so, very, very Cairo. Cool. <laughs> Kevin's from space. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not from here. <laughs> he's he's Clearly. from the moon. Um, so we've oh got a real global presence here. <laughs> um, and you know, if you want to go there, he's in, um, from there. And so front end developer resume, very cool stuff. Wow. Access to his Dribble and LinkedIn, and Facebook and Instagram and nice, Twitter. Nice. And we've got four projects here. So which one do you want to start with first? I was drawn by the first one, like okay. instantly. Vinge. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. I'm s I really can't take this off. <laughs> we, we, will, we will fix that later, but All wow. Right. Okay. So, so Vinge is pretty. available on the Envato market. <laughs> um, Multi-purpose PS2. <laughs> If you laugh, I'm gonna laugh. All right, okay. so we've got a desktop here. It's a yes. multi-purpose PSD template. Uh, no one can make you feel inferior <laughs> without your consent. Um, as you scroll wow. down, we've got a great color palette, um, nice gradient, that's the sea blue. I love that gradient color. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay. Um, Monster Ross. Uh, yeah. Railway. Oh, someone had mentioned in the chat that they like that. That typography. It's beautiful. <laughs> and then here's the homepage. Wow. Okay, like, in all honesty, this is really beautiful. Like, the. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm... <laughs> Fix this. I think we can help here. Oh! <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> so, um, so maybe Kevin's gonna just momentarily leave the stage yeah, for two I'll seconds, right and he's there. gonna get assistance. Um, we'll just keep scrolling down as we go. Um, <laughs> oh my God! Thank you. <laughs> Woo! He's back, We're back from his mission to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> All right, Ooh, here we go. We're round back. two. We're here. Ma, Kevin let's just do got it. back from I'm his back. away mission. I just he, landed. <laughs> he's back on the ship with us, <laughs> I'm and free. we're gonna actually review Ma's uh, portfolio. Sorry oh. for that, Ma. We are oh, now gosh. here, and we're put together, and we're gonna look at <laughs> your your uh, Invato landing page. So this yes. is Binge. It's got a beautiful color palette. Wow. Um, I do like that gradient. I, think I it's really very like nice. that. Yeah. Um, Montserrat, Railway. Look at the way he laid it out too. Mm -hmm. like, it's like I, a beautiful presentation, yeah. yeah. So homepage, here we go. So we've got that gradient kind of imagery up top. And we have this typography here, um, kind of going down into these four mm. sort of um, major kind of like feature sets. Um, scrolling down, we've got um, this nice kind of like flush background to break it yeah. specific offerings nice, uh, nice. consistency with the icons wow. um, kind of a full width sort of inspiration gallery very pretty and then the team itself which okay. is very fun wow. um, next project um, just kind of that nice call to action around the contact us and and just in case you're not sure the pricing model below very well done in terms of that thoughtful content Wow. And then, and then, if you're still not sure because you're you're scared away by the price, is just great testimonials and social proof around what the clients are saying. Love that image. I think that's an unsplash image. I feel like I recognize it. Maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, maybe I not. It's just a beautiful angled building shot. Um, thought leadership around the blog posts. You know, less important content towards the bottom, bottom. of the page. Very okay. well done. Um, and then in case Ooh. you still have questions because you hit the bottom of the page, you're not sure what to do next, right? You've gone all the way through. Um, you know, we're here to help. So oh. I'm going to scroll back to the top. Yeah. Why don't you uh, give it your critique? So overall, amazing job, Ma. This is the way that you structured and mm -hmm. laid out everything and broke each section of the website. You mm -hmm. did really well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just keep so scrolling. Let's, yeah, keep scrolling. I like how you broke down this section with the hero image, with mm -hmm. the series of icons. And for this, maybe I would have done like a rule of third, because you get like this. You have a lot of white space on white the right, space. right? Yep. Yeah, okay. so it's kind of unbalanced, but um, overall really good. That's a good piece of feedback, right? If we're looking yeah. at, you know, the whole two column split thing, you definitely can. Um, you've got a really great visual weight on the left that takes up that whole area. Um, you know, it does justice to have that balance by having it be more center aligned um, from a horizontal standpoint in that part on the right. Yeah. Um, and, oh, this is nice too. Okay. How have you laid out the each icon. Mm -hmm. I like this uh, box structure. It's very like neat. Mm -hmm. Let's see for this one. Inspire. I like the hierarchy where you you know use the uh, what is it? The all the what's it called? Just all caps. All caps. Yep. Mm -hmm. And made it smaller, and then made this bold, and then not all caps. So it's mm -hmm. a good balance. Mm -hmm. And also, just the like different hierarchy of like mm -hmm. type. Mm -hmm. I like how you highlighted that to showcase this. Very nice highlighting. Uh, the grid structure is really cool. Uh, maybe arrows to show if there's more or not. Or view more, I okay. see that. Yep. So like a hover interaction in case you're not sure if you can actually interact with that. Yeah. I'm assuming those are filters on top with the all and the sketching and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay, Very I see cool. that. That's cool. Um, maybe like the blue is kind of off from the whole vibe, I feel like okay. you could change that uh, tone of color. Yeah, it's a, the vibes are kind of that co more greenish hue, right? Yeah. So a lot of, even here at, you see this gradient, you've got from green to that blue, and it's it's an interesting color, but it does have more of that purple kind of reddish sort of tint, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. also like tealish. Mm -hmm. uh, so what would see. be your recommendation there, Kevin? Maybe, um, Eye dropping this color mm -hmm. and then just like lowering the opacity. Like a nice subtle opacity to yeah. kind of bring it through. Okay. Yeah. And then, yeah, this is very like well structured. And then I like how you did meet our creative team. Yep. 
and with their socials let's talk about our next project very mm -hmm. nice pricing i like the little dollar sign super cute with the different plans mm -hmm and listing out the check marks for each one okay. maybe showcasing like um things that you're not gonna get from the other plans like sh to show like a difference mm -hmm. sorry <laughs> our adobe lab has a funny sense of humor <laughs> what, we all, hashtag ruthless oh, helmet oh my gosh <laughs> seriously i'm gonna rewatch this one for days Ooh, yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah yep. for sure um this is kind of like what I love because you use both photography and um, graphic element. Mm -hmm. So the fact that like they're all meeting in the center and the photos right in the center, I love that stuff. There's a good tension there. Yeah, I it just agree. draws your attention super there. It makes there. your eye kind of point towards that typography, which I think is probably what Ma was trying to do. Well done. Yeah, and I also like how if they do that, then another like new photo would pop up. Mm -hmm. uh, daily blogs. Um, what would you think? Like for daily blogs, I know it's important to have your like, if they if they search your company on Google mm -hmm. to like be the first result. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's like less important still? Like in the bottom of the website. Um, I think it depends on the company, right? Some yeah. companies have um, strategies to appear as thought leaders, or they may have additional articles that can help further explain their services and offerings. And mm -hmm. so, um, having the blogs there are nice because what if you what if you're let me just go to the full screen. What if you're a client who's potentially thinking about hiring um, on a page like this and they're meeting a team and they don't feel like they have necessarily enough information from this section alone, right? Yeah. Um, the blogs are a good element to kind of make you think, okay, maybe I can go into here and learn a little bit more about them. It's yes. more personal. So I like it. I think I'm a big fan of seeing that kind of the blogs on the bottom and kind of getting that um, getting that extra information on a detailed level around a specific specific subject. Yeah. The chat is having a good time, by the way, uh, with uh, with how professional you look in your different helmets. And so <laughs> it might be a new look, oh might be gosh. a new Instagram uh, photo. But the hair is like... Your hair is a little... Like, yeah, it suffered oh, a little from that stint. <laughs> <laughs> to, like, I have to change. Okay. We got to make sure the hair looks good <laughs> before I even start talking again. Um, um, cool. So one thing I do recommend is like, this is a long... Page sure. for a landing page. Well, so, well, actually, from or, like right, oh, oh whoops, enhance um, from here, here on, right? Oh, it's, okay. Yeah. Let me see. So it's, it is yeah. a pretty long page. You know, engagement on a long page like this could or couldn't work. Mm -hmm. Maybe giving an alternative, right? Like yeah. a maybe a shorter version would shorter, be condensed, reduced yeah. version of it. I mean, if it's a multi-purpose PSD template, maybe there's two. Maybe there's two oh, yeah. in there, and that's then there's a shorter too. one if that's yeah. the case. Um. He's like, no, not the hair, Ma. <laughs> um, no, but overall, very well-structured, laid out. The color choice is amazing. Type is really good. Um, the hierarchy of the different type to show the heading mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the actual copy of the text mm -hmm. is very well thought out. Okay. I think one thing is just the rule of thirds for this because mm -hmm. it's everything else is already balanced that you kind of have to like break it out mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, do you think the text is too small? Um, or is hard, it just like, it's hard to say on this preview um, if we just kind of look at it like this um, yeah. It's hard to say because you know, this is just in the portfolio view um, But if the if the width was actually bigger, we might get it You know, there mm -hmm. are some best practices in terms of body typography making sure it's readable especially for um, Accessibility issues and so just making sure that's legible is important. So hopefully um, That is accounted for if we were to look at the bigger screen. So but this is like if you're even looking at this preview, it's it's half. There's a lot of negative space on the on the screen share. So like, you know, I'm sure bigger it'll be a little bit easier to read. Yeah. Oh, Ma said there is a gallery on the bottom. On the bottom, Instagram feed, links. Nice. Cool. So yeah, the footer, so newsletter, our Instagram feed. So the Instagram feed is a bit small. Mm -hmm. Um, but then again, it depends on like what kind of company this is. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. I would even take out the Instagram feed and just have the icon of mm. the Instagram logo. Okay. And under right here, like under right here, all the socials. Okay. Um, because why is it separate from? It doesn't it? matter that it's Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then other than that, it looks really good. Okay. Cool. Good job. Um. Let's see. So that's where we were there. Just want to make sure that we saw everything that we needed to here. Oh, and you know what? There's more. I, I oh, think there keep is? scrolling. Oh. There's more. 
Awesome. The Thank you, Ma. <laughs> we are. This is a very long scroll page. All right, cool. So we got blog. Okay. Oh, nice. Popular, Popular posts. posts. Oh, so here are actually the detail pages. So if you were to click on any of those blog posts, you can actually see them here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the main blog splash. Yep. And there's more Instagram feed Instagram right there. Feed. Okay. Recent comments. You know, um, the recent comments is a great thing to bubble up there. Um, it's just showing that activity on the blog is a really great way of showing that, you know, the company there will be engaged. So nice content strategy there. Yeah, and I love how he has like a highlight section where it showcases like, what is it? One, two, three, four, like four. Just four, not too many. Blog posts, which is yep. like grabs your attention. You see it, it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And then still that CTA in case okay. you um, need to be contacted. Because the whole point of this landing page and this whole website is to generate you know, leads, right? Is to generate mm -hmm. engagement. So that makes sense. And then as you go in, here's a detailed post of the blog. Ooh, so okay. what do you think? So this is when they click on an article. Yep, so they clicked on a specific article. Um, or maybe they came here from the landing page. Okay. Yep, and so here they are. Yeah, um, one thing I like is the layout. I just wish there was more like photos because for me, I mean, for me, like I think I don't like to read a lot of text heavy things. I want to see more visual stuff about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. But overall, like the whole comment section, the author, uh, like who wrote it, like mm -hmm. leave a comment's very nice. Yep. Um, popular tags, like you know exactly uh, like what like blog mm -hmm. websites should be. And I yep. think you have a good understanding about That's it. That's nice. So. Cool. Um, just the Instagram feed is kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> and then the last quick page I think is going to be, yep, so this is the last one, so contact us. Yeah. And oh, so, I love full bleed of maps. Yeah. Because like, it just like grabs your attention, like where is this place? You can like uh, see what city it's mm -hmm. in and stuff like that. Yeah. So. I think probably to your comment, you'd want to adjust that, that blue, color yeah. if uh, you want to end up picking something from more of a green family and a yellow hue than the purple hues. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, hopefully this is interactive and that if they clicked on it, you know, it would yeah. take them to the actual page. So that's nice having that there. Mm -hmm. And Good then job. and then that's it. And there it is. Wow. And you, you can do really it good, on Ma. the Envato market. Awesome. All right. So shall we move on to our second portfolio? That's good, yeah. Okay. So let me take a click at Sunil, I believe. Sunil is from oh. Toronto, Ontario, oh. Canada. Nice. So from Canada and from there, let's see. So um, I'm assuming designer, yep. And so here are some of their projects. So wow. um, Recognia newsletter, uh, product integration, oh, okay. um, for product e info for e-commerce, mobile app, a lot of great stuff here. Um, Linga app, um, uh, logo designs, uh, money management. You've done everything. I know, That's this is awesome. awesome. Reminder app. So what do you want to take Whoa. a look at? Look at that, actually. Jeez. Emmy Awards. <gasps> a lot of Emmy Awards stuff. Channel, Guns Channel. and Girls. Ah, Underworld. Wow, there's um, so many. Mad Men. Yep. VHR Earth. Wow, it goes on and on. This is amazing. Well, how many what stuff do you great have? great portfolio <laughs> size. Amazing. That's a lot. I do not have this much. <laughs> okay, so which one do you want to take a look at? Um, the first thing I saw was the product info for this e commerce. Okay, yeah. so let's take a look. And maybe if we go through this one a little faster, we can see another one. So here we go. Yeah. I'm going to just scroll through. Okay, so it's just two oh, screens. Cool. cool, easy. Popular new product. So this is a product info page for an e commerce site. Um, okay. And looks like we've got a oh, fancy gosh. watch. Yeah, I like how it's like 3D. It like mm -hmm. pops out of your. It comes screen. out of that uh, container, which is super nice. And then it shows you all like the different um, angles to it on the mm -hmm. bottom. Mm -hmm. All right. Go on the bottom. Now should I keep? Should I scroll down? Do you want to spend some more time here? I think the about, like the spacing between the about and details, like this line is like way too long. Like okay. maybe just like shorten it up a little bit. Would you say to where the word ends mm. or just kind of smaller and not have it so close to details? Maybe like right here, because okay. I think it's just way too long. Okay. Each one. But other than that, I love, again, the hierarchy. Mm -hmm. um, you highlighted that it's popular, uh, so it grabs your attention. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing that kind of doesn't, well, I guess 
add to cart like the drop shadow matches. No drop shadow. <laughs> um, there we go. With the shadow of the watch. Yeah. But it's like glowing where this one's like just a regular shadow. Yeah, is that a drop shadow or is that a glow? I think it's a drop shadow, right? It's yeah. not a glow. Yep. So I don't know if that would that necessarily works, even though it's like kind of going based off of this. Sure, and the and the shadow from the watch is actually going where the where the sun's on your uh, two o'clock, and um, and the shadow and the button is actually just straight down. So yeah. it's kind of like the light source is coming from all different sorts of directions. So mm -hmm. yeah, it'd be something to think about. Um, and then it looks like this is a sort of uh, toggling. Um, experience. I would say one thing, accessibility has come up a lot in our chat today, um, yeah. just to kind of be mindful of the fact that as beautiful as yellow is on white, um, it's really hard to see if you have oh, yeah. um, colorblind issues. And so oh. um, you might want to make a secondary version just for that, like maybe with black arrows or one of your accent colors, mm -hmm. to make sure that um, it's available for those guys to be able to click on as well. Otherwise, they might miss it. Mm -hmm. Um, and then scrolling down, we have, oh, a mobile Ooh, version, so. That's cute. Let's see, how can we do this? Let me, can I, there we go, woo. Okay, I like that. Mm -hmm. um, popular new product about, yeah, basically a really good layout. Mm -hmm. um, maybe something to showcase like the next photo or something? Oh, right, because we had, oh, so we had the thumbnails on the previous screen, so it was easy to kind of want to, you'd have, you'd be curious of wanting to click into one of those, and yeah. so, because I don't know if you don't I, have that in the mobile version. Yeah. Okay. Like, if, I'm thinking like, okay, this could either be a new photo of it or mm -hmm. a new product. But you know, Anna, I agree. I, I really like the mobile version a I, lot. I like the mobile version too. I think yeah. that um, the spotlight and the hierarchy on the on the watch up here is, is just solid. And yeah. you just kind of want to swipe, which is a great natural yes. interaction. Yes. But for those of us who don't, you know, Kevin, you make a good point, which is that maybe you want, want a little bit more something just to preview um, a couple more of those photos in case yeah. people are like, I want a head-on shot or something like that. Um, cool. And then the button is much larger on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yep. But very beautiful, very cool. nice layout. It's nicely done. I might add um, that for one option to consider is um, when you have typography that's this close in proximity to one another and oh. they're similar in mm -hmm. terms, they're like very similar in terms of typography styles, you might want to consider equalizing them. And I'm sure one of the reasons why you made this bigger was for legibility, um, but um, it also, it, and so maybe either go even further or maybe try a different type or something like that, but, um, or try to make them consistent. You might get a bit more um, visual kind of cohesion there and then a lot more prominence coming out with new products. So just something to think about. Um, the other thing I would also say is that um, your touch targets on the color right here are very close. They look beautiful together, yeah. but if I just move for two seconds, I might accidentally click on the other one, right? Because they're very oh, close to each good, other. Yeah. So just maybe kind of consider spacing them out a little bit. So. I like that. Um, okay, cool. You want to look at another one? Yeah. All right, That's so let's look at, to? well, we have time to look at one more from Sunil. So, because oh, um, cool. we it was just two screens. So what's one more that you want to see from there? Um, what's a flinga? That? Flinga. All right. Ah, wow. logo design, mobile app identity design. I love that process. Cool. So Flinga Thanks, Sketch. provides sports moments that are worthy of sharing with friends, moments that are talked about, moments that are trending. Seamless sharing enables users to tap into their social graph of choice and share with them. So it's nice. sharing is caring. Yeah. All right, cool. Oh. So nice logo there. Good uses of the oh. oh, Explorations. Mm -hmm. Wow. In different colors. Very pretty. All right. I'm showcasing it on the app, on the And phone a phone screen. with that kind of perspective view. Uh -huh. Awesome. All right, well, what do you think? What do you want to, I'll just land it right. Oh, is that, ju it's just so a it's logo? So it's a logo design, yep. I just, um, I would like more process. Uh, like oh, showcasing show the process. process. Yeah, that's a really great point, which is um, for portfolios, it's great to show not just only the final product, but what you did to kind of come up with it. And this is a great shot, like seeing a little bit more of that, kind of explaining more of that would be um, would be helpful, but otherwise, great job. Sunil, yeah. Sunil, Sunil. Sunil. <laughs> Thank um, you. Canada. Yeah. All right, so I think that's great everything. Job. So, um, you know, just to kind of recap real quick, um, Kevin, thank you for the last three days making that beautiful prototype, um, Fluencia, which was Fluencia. a 
beautiful collaborative process with uh, everyone in the chat today. You know, the logo was made by you guys, the name was brought up by everyone there. Um, and we published that prototype, so if you are curious and you want to take a look at it in detail and add your comments, please feel free. Yes. I'm it's, so excited to see everyone's comments. It's been a great couple of days, and I think a really amazing way to end today <laughs> with uh, that last portfolio oh segment and our trip to the moon. So, so embarrassing. But, so yeah, thank you yeah. for staying with us for this time. Thank you guys um, so much. And also yeah. thank you to Jessica yeah. and our camera crew. That, our beautiful moderators yes, that are on the side who put this together. They did an amazing job. Yeah. And also, you know, James and Alex did great job. So. Oh, ag agreed. Everybody above but from but the earlier sessions too. Yes, so. everyone is amazing and um, thank you guys for tuning in and I'm just so glad that I was a part of this. Yeah, cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks next guys. Time. Bye. See ya.